Hey girl, what's up? It's your girl Amber. In today's video, I am going to show you my braids wash day routine. So if you wanna see how I maintain these Jumbo Box braids, keep on watching. So I installed these Jumbo Box braids myself, sis. Yes, myself, and I did a good job for the first time ever. <laughs> I made a video about this, um, so click the link here on the screen if you wanna see how I did it. But I pretty much have these braids in for about two weeks now, and I think it's time for a wash. I really suffer from dandruff and product buildup, and it's not really that visible on camera, but in real life, you can see all the flakes flying around whenever I touch my scalp. It's just a mess. But luckily, I have the solution. Okay, I've been doing this method for years to wash my braids, and it works really, really well. So if you wanna cleanse your scalp without messing up your braids, this is the way you should wash your hair, okay? This is the way you should wash your braids. So the first thing I am going to do is take a towel because this is kind of a messy process and take my water bottle and put a little bit of this shampoo in it. This is the As I Am Dry and Itchy Scalp Care Shampoo with olive and tea tree oil. I love this. I love the texture. It's like a lotion kind of shampoo. It's not like your typical shampoo, which is really unique. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that shampoo into my water spray bottle. And then I'm going to mix it until I have this watery shampoo mixture. And I'm going to spray that on my scalp, you know, in between the braids. And one thing I really love about this shampoo is that it definitely feels tingly and refreshing on your scalp. And if you suffer from dandruff and product buildup, this is the perfect shampoo for you. But you know, actually you can use any shampoo. You can just use your favorite shampoo because the scent is going to really refresh your hair as well. But if you suffer from dandruff like me and product buildup, I really recommend this particular shampoo or just any shampoo with, you know, tea tree or something like that in it or African black soap something clarifying and refreshing for the scalp so I make sure that my scalp is like covered in the shampoo mixture I really want to lift that product buildup I really want to make sure the dandruff gets lifted off my scalp so I can wash it out easily and then after I covered my scalp with the shampoo mixture I am going to spray my braids as well because you know braids can be stinky sometimes <laughs> we work out in these braids we cook sleep shower in these braids and you know mm, yeah it, it has a smell every once in a while don't be the girl with the stinky braids <laughs> just spray the shampoo mixture all over your braids as well and you know if you choose your favorite shampoo with your favorite scent your braids are definitely going to smell really good after this so now that my dandruff is lifted off my head, it is time to hop in the shower and wash all of that out. And washing it out is so easy because you didn't go overboard with the shampoo, right? You diluted it with water, so it's really, really easy to wash out and it never gets stuck in my hair. You know, if you wash it out really good, just flip your head and just focus on your scalp as well and the braids just go in every direction because that really helps with washing product out thoroughly so now it's time to condition that's also very important to make my hair remain soft because obviously we just use a shampoo and i'm going to use the same uh, conditioner from the same line it's a really really nice conditioner also has this tea tree pepperminty smell which is really refreshing and i'm just going to apply that first on my scalp this is the same process and I'm going to focus on my roots and make sure that everything is covered and then I'm going to work that in in my braids as well by doing this it will put the moisture back into my hair and my hair will be soft my braids will be soft and that's the purpose of a protective style right And again, to make sure that all the product is removed, flip your head and rinse out your conditioner, your products in every direction, okay? 
so this is the final result of washing my hair and as you can see my hair is looking shiny and soft and actually has a lot of movement and all my dandruff is gone and it smells so good right now because of the shampoo and conditioner okay so this is me after the shower and my hair is still wet <laughs> okay one thing about braids if you wash it it will stay wet for a couple of days i'm just saying and as you can see most of my dandruff is gone and my roots are looking pretty clean it's not perfect but it is way better than before anyways my technique to dry braids is simply just to blow dry it uh, this is the first thing that i always do and i blow dry it on high speed and high heat okay and again i make sure i blow dry my hair in every direction that's like key if you want to have dry hair fast you have to flip your head over and to just blow dry like a crazy woman <laughs> that's the only way you're gonna get your hair dry fast okay and this is the second thing that i do because if you have braids you always have ends that are dripping so i take a towel and i wrap it around my braids and then i take a hair tie and then i just make sure that everything is secure and i let that sit for as long as i can and no more braids that are dripping wet okay <laughs> so this was my braids wash day routine guys super simple super effective so definitely try it out so let me know down below what you think about this video and thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next one. Bye!